Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about Cymbidium Summer Care and how we get them ready for fall. I just want to show you the beautiful day out here. Um, it's about 85 degrees here in British Columbia today. Not a cloud in the sky as you can see. Beautiful hot day. That's mid-afternoon. Um, grasses are looking a little bit brown these days. I haven't been watering. There's water restrictions. We haven't seen rain here in months. So although there's a big lake in front of me. But um, yeah, there's been very little rain this summer. So I'm gonna take you into the back and we're gonna look at the cymbidiums. Okay, excuse all the messes. I got several projects on the go. We're under cover here under the, um, the covered area. And there's two cymbidiums right here. These guys have shaded a little bit more this year. It's been so hot and dry. The sun has just been like blasting these guys. I've definitely got a few marks from the sun on them. But um, they're out basically full sun. They get morning sun. They're a bit shaded from the afternoon. Excuse my mess. Got a few more cymbidiums here. This is against the south wall. There's a little cymbidium there. This thickest tree just got thrown in front of this guy. We can see what the sun has done this year to a few of my leaves. It's been really, really hot. So um, other years I haven't had a problem with it, but this year I've been trying to keep them a little bit more shaded. Here's a few more cymbidiums. You can see they get full sun. Um, this is sitting against the south wall here. So very little trouble. There's a few little tattered ends and for fall I will trim that up. Just cut it there so you can't really see it. But um, I've been using a granulated fertilizer this year, a slow release on them. So hopefully that makes a difference, we'll see. Um, other than that, I have got all my collagen-y species out here. There's one, there's one. Um, there's another one there by the pond, a couple dendrobium nobles out here, uh, one there and one there. Again, these guys, they got mites this year. There's some mite damage on it. Uh, what are you going to do though? The new growth is coming out healthy down there. But these guys are all going to be out until we have like first frost. They're busy growing right now, full growth, so we want to give them as much sun as we can. Lots of water, lots of fertilizer. You can kind of see the granulated fertilizer in it right there. And so that's what I'm trying this year for it. And if I remember at the end of the video, I'll show you the fertilizer package for that. But um, yeah, lots of water, lots of sun. It's gonna get cool and crisp for these guys. That's gonna be what sets the buds. And then I'll bring them in before a chance of first frost. This little nook here um, where the lawnmower is right now, I may set up a little temporary greenhouse and put all of these guys in it so they get nice and cool um, nights right here going into, we're talking into September, October. We usually don't get frost here until November. You can see a few Mastivalia stuck out here underneath the, um, the awning as well, hidden by the Cymbidiums. But yeah, that is where they are for now. They're gonna be staying here until fall and once they start to set buds and it gets too cold outside for them, I will bring them into the greenhouse and we'll put them right over here. So I think they're going to go down along that bottom edge there. So they still get um, the bright light. This is the, the south wall, so it's the brightest wall. And I'll just show you that fertilizer as well while we're here. Let's see here. We'll go in. As I said, it's a hot day, misting system. Just actually kicked off. The um, fan misting system is still on. The overhead one just kicked off. The little fogger is still running over here. You can see it going over there. And, but yes, keep on track. So the fertilizer I was using came from Raven Vision. Sorry, all the fans are on. Hopefully you can still hear me. I don't know what brand it is, but I want to find out. I don't see it on the website anymore. But that is the product, slow release with micronutrients. And you can see I've gone through quite a bit of it, so I'm gonna to wanna to find out what this is. I've used it for um, a lot of the plants in here this year as well, just to take some of the burden of fertilization away. We'll see if, bear with me, we'll see if um, that actually helps or not. That's the dog swimming pool. And yeah, 
But that is a Cymbidium update for summertime. A few care tips for you. Hopefully get the Cymbidiums and the other orchids blooming for the fall and the winter. Anyways, if you like this video and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.